Hello good people! Today I'm going to give you guys a quick little tutorial about something that you guys have seen in all my most recent videos and it is a preference pane and it's called Geek Tool. And what Geek Tool does, it allows me to put all these little things on my desktop that are always there like how it says Mac OS X Turtles 12 and the weather and the condition and the time and the date and the date. Um, yeah, all that done in shell scripts using Geek Tool. And that's how Geek Tool runs using shell scripts. Um, Geek Tool is a preference pane, and there's a lot of things you can do with it. So I'm going to show you guys just a couple of the uh, features. So I'll use the, my title. That's what I called it right there. Title is an example. So right here, here is the shell command. Like I said before, all these are done using shell commands. And I can change the refresh time, which is good for the weather and the temperature and the conditions, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, yeah, so I have everything refreshing 10 seconds, so I'm pretty updated with the temperature and the condition outside. Though if I really wanted to find out the condition, I can just kind of look out my window. Um, another thing, you can edit the text color, you can edit the font color. Um, that's the same thing. Text color, you can te uh, mess around with the font, the size of the font, italicize, bold, underline, strike through, all that jazz can be done. Um, another cool thing is that you can add a picture or a document to Geek Tool. So if there's one picture or some sort of reminder that you always want to have, you can put that on Geek Tool and it'll be there whenever you want. So your question now might be, Matt, where can I find these Geek Tool shell codes? Well, viewer, I can answer that question very easily. If you go to my blog at macosxtutorials12.co.nr, click the little button that says Enter Site, then click the tab that says Nuggets of Wisdom, and look for my most recent post titled Geek Tool, you'll find many shell codes. Uh, you'll find all the shell codes that I use, and a few that I don't use. There are many other codes that I don't use that you can find just by doing a simple Google search for Geek Tool shell codes. And there's just so many, so many. Um, yeah, anyway, if you have any trouble with the shell codes, feel free to contact me. You guys can email me at macosxtutorials12 at gmail.com, or you guys can IM me at macosxtutorials12. Or if you guys want to hear my, well, my horrible voice, you guys can go to Skype and then add me, Fisher underscore 12. Or if you just want to stalk me, you guys can go to twitter.com slash fisher12 and click the follow button. In case you haven't guessed, my name is Matt Fisher. Thank you for watching this video, and take care.